my brother in Christ, you have returned. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Please clap. Wow. Bag up, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. Man, I'm finna whip this hoe. All right, you're in the B5. Uh, gotta say, after the engine swap, uh, it drives even better than it did when I first had it, probably because of the shifter rebuild I did and uh, just having an overall better engine with healthier turbos and all that. Um, it's running pretty smooth. So I'll, I'll run you guys through what I've done to this car so far. Um, so I wanted to make it as close to like factory components as possible. Uh, so while this does have an RS4 clutch and a Fidanza flywheel, um, I have all stock engine components aside from 550cc injectors, a Walbro 450 fuel pump, Labrie split mouth downpipes, and a Borla catback exhaust to give it just a nice sound. And then uh, I did a, a dual map tune with Brad Watkins for 93 and E85. Uh, now this setup is catted, unlike my blue S4, so this is not going to be quite as loud or noisy, um, but in turn it also doesn't smell so much. So that's nice for a daily driver. Uh, but it's, it's left me with a pretty nice car to drive that has plenty of power on tap. And uh, it's, it's definitely a fun car. I mean, you can drop it down in gear and just... And you can just take off. It, it rips. It is a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, for these small turbos, you know, uh, part of the reason I like them for a daily driver is because well, a lot of people are out chasing numbers, you know, oh, I've got a thousand horsepower Supra or, you know, my 1500 horsepower Lambo. It, it's very cool. And uh, don't get me wrong, I am definitely jealous. I'd love to have a car like that. But you can't really enjoy cars like that on the street. You, you can't wind them out more than, you know, a couple gears before you are definitely going to jail. Um, and that's where a car like this with the factory KO3s uh, these smaller turbos and uh, some high PSI ethanol tunes really shine because I can open this thing up and, uh, you know, still be within reasonably safe. It's so good. Uh, very, very smooth. Um, as far as the driveline like mounts, um, it's all OEM RS4 parts. Uh, the only thing different is the Apical uh, rear subframe mount and I might actually change that. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it. It adds a little bit of vibration and gear line to the rear differential. As far as the interior goes, um, I've left it basically stock. The only thing I've done is I swapped over uh, my steering wheel that I got made in Poland for my blue B5. Uh, that car is becoming a little bit more aggressive, uh, not so much a daily car, especially with the new shifter setup in it. <laughs> So I went ahead and swapped this Alcantara steering wheel into this car. I think it fits a lot better. And uh, the next thing I want to do is I've got some black door panels that I'm going to be putting in to get rid of these nasty, dingy white ones. I wouldn't be so mad about the leather, but the black or the white plastic, what they call silver Alcantara, silver sport interior. This white plastic is absolutely awful. It, it never looks good. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather just have the black. What I'd like to do is actually try to dye these Alcantara seats black. Uh, I've seen it done a couple times and I think it looks really, really good. And it would also make it a bit more livable so you're not always worried about accidentally touching the seat with a dirty hand and leaking fingerprints on this silver Alcantara because it does stain very easy and it has seen a hard life before I got the car. I'll plug some pictures of what those seats looked like before I clean them. 
So we're actually getting down here to the Sandbridge area in Virginia Beach, and we're gonna shoot some drone footage uh, to kind of wrap this episode up and, uh, you know, get let you guys get some good perspective on what the car looks like now and uh, see what you think. So enjoy.